Hello everyone and thanks so much for joining us today. In today's video we will be working in our garden area as well as installing our new Rainpoint um, irrigation system so I am super excited about that. But before we get into that, we have some work to do out here in our garden area. Um, so this is where we have our raised beds and things. Um, along this fence, we are getting some blackberries started. We have one plant and I just wanted to fill this up with several more. Um, so we're going to go ahead and plant those. We got these plants at Lowe's and so we're going to go ahead and get those planted. Hopefully those will um, be bearing by next year. One thing that I like to do every year out here in our garden area is just to add something every year. Um, this just keeps our garden area growing bigger each year. Uh, we're looking forward to just planting some new things, trying some new things. And then once we had the blackberries planted, we have several of these bales of the pine needles that we're going to go ahead and spread around all of the blackberries just to help keep the moisture in. And then moving over to the back side of the garden area, we have several blueberry bushes that we also wanted to plant. So we're just measuring where we want them um, to make sure our walkway is the right width. And then we're gonna go ahead and plant these along the back side. And then the rest of those pine needles we're going to go ahead and spread around our blueberry bushes um, again just to keep them protected and keep the moisture in the ground. We have really been getting a lot of rain the last while which we're super thankful for um, but it does, does make it a little challenging to work in the garden if you're working in it between rain showers. So this did take us um, over a week to get everything done. And somewhere about this time, we got our new Rainpoint irrigation system. Um, so here is what this consists of. And thank you so much for Rainpoint for sponsoring a portion of today's video. We're gonna go ahead and get this plugged in, even though it's not ready out in the garden yet, we'll, but we will get to that. Um, I wanted to just get it plugged in and kind of go over um, how everything works just to get familiar with it. So here's what the indoor monitor looks like and I just downloaded the HomeGuard app. It was super simple um, and then just getting it set up with your home, getting everything connected so that you can use the system from your phone, which is very nice, I thought. Um, so we're just going to go through and get everything connected, make sure everything is working properly and just kind of mess around with the app and see what we can do with it. All right, so this was um, another day. We're gonna keep working over here in the garden area. And what I'm doing now is I'm getting the leftover soil that we have um, stored over here. I'm just getting the rest of that scraped up so that we can fill um, at least one of our garden beds. It's after a couple years, the soil kind of goes down. So we need to fill that up to the correct level. And we did have some soil left over from previous years. We had gotten a big load at one point to fill these uh, when we had first built these. So we had some left over. So I'm just trying to scrape together what we have left to fill the one. After I had most of the soil um, in the bed, it 
made it nice and full to the right height so I was super happy with that and now we're just kind of going through getting some of the roots out that were in there um, just fluffing up the soil and getting it ready for planting and as we were digging through the soil there was quite a few earthworms that came up to the top so I was super happy about that And then later on in the afternoon, when after Lamar got home, uh, we are going to work on just putting one more bag of the good soil with the fertilizer on the top, just for a little layer on top. And then we're going to transplant all of this um, tea that I have. It's like a garden tea, mint tea, over in the other bed. I'm going to transplant it over to the bed that we just finished. That way we can fill this first bed with soil as well because that one was getting pretty low too. So we're going to transplant all of this tea making sure um, that we water it really well because I do want this stuff to keep growing. Once we had all of the tea out, we're just going to fill this other bed with some more of the garden soil. All right, so now we are going to um, get this set up for our irrigation. You see the home base there. And then on the app, we are going to try to set up a irrigation plan for our beds. So I'm just going ahead and renaming the beds. That way I know which one is which when I'm using the app indoors. You can see how everything changed there. And then we're going to set up a plan. And we're going to do that by hitting the plus button up there in the corner. And then we're also going to turn on the rain delay um, that'll keep it like if it rains then it won't water and then under that you can go ahead and just set what time you want it to start um, the duration or how many gallons however you want to set up um, and then when you want it to repeat um, you can literally customize it however you want to do whichever days you want it to water, however you want it set up. Here I am just doing the exact same thing for the other bed um, and just getting everything set up to how I think would work best for us. And you can also turn on the irrigation right from your phone if you want to quick water something um, outside of the plan, you can go ahead and do that as well. Here is a little bit of a weather prediction, um, so that is nice to have as well to see if there's a chance of rain or whatever. So we're going to go ahead and get another plan set up for the afternoon watering and we're just going to go with maybe around 3.30 um, and we're just going to do 12 minutes for now. I can always come back and change that then later and so there we have two different plans for um, the one side so that is as easy it is to get it set up um, I thought it was very user-friendly and very self-explanatory to get everything set up and good to go and now we're moving outside again to get our irrigation like the pipes and everything set up this was like a kind of a separate deal I just got these separately from the rain point system just to make it a little bit easier to get everything watered. Um, you could definitely just hook up a soaker hose to your rain point and that would work perfectly fine or whatever you have um, for your gardening system. So this is what we decided to do and it was really easy to set up as well. Just putting in all of your fittings for the different hoses for to spread out across the garden bed. And we're just spacing out all of the um, hoses 
just getting them somewhat the same length and everything. And then on the ends of each of these smaller hoses, we're going to attach the little sprinkler system and this will just give a nice little shower uh, whenever the system is on. All right, so we're moving on to another day. It was nice and sunny on this day. So we're gonna go ahead and get our tomatoes planted. I don't know what's happening with Weston there. He's, <laughs> I didn't know this was happening at the time. Um, but anyways, he was having fun too. So we're gonna go ahead and get all of our plants planted here in the first bed. And this will consist mostly of tomatoes, um, some peppers, and then I got a couple rosemary plants for the bottom end here. Um, I just wanted those in the end. And now we're going to start setting up our rain point system here, just getting it attached to our faucet here. Um, and then turning on the water and then you can actually just push the button so that it turns off. And then here is the hose that will go to the garden and we're going to set up the other side. Here I'll show you how um, the other side is set up. We're first just going to put in our long half inch hose down the middle and then put an end cap on the end here. And we can start putting in our splices and I'm doing these every couple feet and each splice will have four hoses coming out of each splice and those will be the smaller quarter inch hoses. So now I'm just putting those um, little adapters on to um, get the little the smaller irrigation hoses out. So we're going to go ahead and get those on um, every couple feet down the center of our garden bed. And then just measuring out the quarter inch tubes for um, the sprinklers to attach to then. So those go on super easy as well. You just slide them onto the adapter um, and then they stay really well. I haven't had any leakage so far at all. And then the last step is to put in the little sprinkler and these just stick into the ground um, so that you can easily move them back and forth wherever you want them. And then we're finishing out this bed, um, planting some peppers as well as basil, just kind of filling in around our tea until that multiplies um, until we can't plant anything more in here. But until then, I'm gonna go ahead and use this space up.
and Weston wanted to turn on the water for the sprinklers. Um, it's super easy. You can, even if you don't have your phone out, you can just push the button and the water will turn on. So super easy to use without the app as well. There is what our setup looks like. Um, the little sprayers are going and I am super happy with how the little irrigation system turned out and it definitely helps to have the rain point. Um, I can turn it on or off whenever I want to and it works great. So I hope you enjoyed our little garden and how it is looking so far. We have so much more we want to do out here, but a little at a time is what we'll do. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.